What's happening, guys? Thank you for tuning in to the Kevin Carhe Show. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the show. What's going down, fellas? What's going down? Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Welcome back to the show. One time for the free crowd. Salute, salute. Everybody got these different ideas about when and how to use the no contact rules. Everywhere I look online, there's always somebody trying to give instructions on when and how to use the no contact rule. Listen, guys, it, 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 to make it simple, dealing with the no contact rule boils down to one thing. Who loves who the least or who has the least interest in the other person? That's what it really boils down to. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Women's favorite go-to move is the pullback move. And women love to go no contact and they love to block. Because women think that the way they feel if a man would block them is the same way a man would feel if they would block the man. And men simply simply don't put that many feelings into being blocked. Hell, most of the time when a man get blocked, shit, he don't even remember he got blocked. He don't remember the woman. It, it, two weeks later, he don't remember who he was talking to. It just doesn't affect them like that. Shit, I was talking to a woman, man, one time, and we was in some deep conversation, and I could tell she was still had some feelings, some passion behind this, and she was basically saying, man, I, uh, a, a guy that she was talking to blocked her. And I thought, man, this might have been, was this the last guy you was talking to? She's like, no. Uh, how long ago this was? Oh, I think it better have been over a year and a half ago. I'm like, you still thinking about this guy that blocked you a year and a half ago? But, guys, that's how they, man, they feel some kind of way about being blocked. Uh, when women go no contact, guys, uh, most of the time, now, they can be trying to get rid of your ass. I say that. Uh, maybe they got back with an ex. Maybe they found somebody new. Either way, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. Now, let's say if she emotionally attached. A woman will go no contact just to see if she can gain some control over you. To see if your ass going to fold. And if you fold, if you fold, guys, when a woman goes no contact, then the rest of the time with her, it's going to be pure hell. She will never be submissive. She'll start running the relationship. And she ain't going to listen to a damn thing you have to say, guys. If she go no contact and you keep reaching out, She's going to block you on social media and block you on her phone. If she's emotionally attached, the catch is, if that woman is emotionally attached and she's trying to do the no contact, then she's going to leave a back door for you to go through. See, women don't tell you that. She's going to indirectly leave a way that she know that you're going to try to reach out. Maybe... She'll block you on Facebook. She'll block you on, uh, on her phone. But she'll leave Instagram open for you to go back door. She'll, she'll, uh, she'll, un she'll block you on, on her phone, social media. But she'll unfriend you on Instagram or vice versa. Because she know if she leave it open, there's a chance that you just might walk back through the door. Now, is she completely done with your ass? Then... She going to close all the doors that she think you might walk through. And then if you figure out a way that she hadn't thought about, as soon as you come through that door or, or try and try to make contact with her, then she's going to block you there too. Simple as that. Now, if you try no contact and she's still not reaching out or you start reaching out before she did, listen, uh, if you reach out before she do, then she know your ass done folded. Now you're going to put yourself in a weak position and your relationship is screwed up, guys. Now, she, like I said before, she's going to put you through hell because she has discovered that she has all the power in the relationship. And we all know what happens when women get all the power. They're going to use their power. If she still haven't reached out, then guys, like I said, either she done moved on or her ass is over there boo-hooing, 
bathing and seething in pain and misery, hoping you will reach out. It's either two. Either she done moved on or, or she just willing to deal with the pain because uh, she just want out of the relationship and she'll just ready to deal with the, the last of the pain that she had for you because she just don't want to have nothing to do with you. She's done. She, she didn't got to the point where she can tolerate being away from you. It still hurts. She still cries at night, but she'd rather be crying than be with you. But here's my thing about if you're going to use the no contact. This is the most important. All that other bullshit don't matter. It works best, guys, if you don't have an emotional attachment. Because... If you have emotional attachment, you, you're playing a risky game. If there's no attachment, which that means you don't care if I ask call you back. You don't give a damn if, if I'm excuse me. You don't give a damn if she leaves, if she contact you on anything, or uh, when if she do reach out and she do beg and come crawling back on her knees. Then you can put her in, in her place. If there's any kind of emotional attachment, then you're going to feel some sort of pain. You're going to feel some sort of pain. It depends on how deep the attachment you have for the woman. So if you have an emotional attachment and you decide to go no contact, then guys, that's just like inflicting pain on your own self. It's just like taking out a cigarette lighter and burning your own self. Because your ass going to be over there. You can't sleep. You can't eat. You're looking at your goddamn phone. You, you're looking at her social media. Checking out where her and her friends are going. What they're doing. Where they at. Looking at other guys in the background. Guys in the background might not have shit to do with uh, her, her and her friends. But you still over there blowing up the picture. Trying to look at all that shit. When you got emotional attachment, guys, that's what you're going to do. Reason why I'm telling you, because I've been down that road before. Guys, I sit up and tell you about simping, emotional attachment. Women say, oh, somebody must have hurt you. Somebody, yeah, most of the time, motherfuckers learn when they get hurt. Whenever you get hurt, it don't turn to business. Just educate your ass so you don't end up back in the same place. And don't give me this shit about, man, you got to learn to trust. It's too much freedom. It's no accountability out here. For women, for you to be talking about you finna trust. You'll trust your ass right into a heartbreak. You'll trust your ass right into financial destruction. You'll trust your ass being with a woman with a kid. To kind of find out, ain't none of your one. That's all I'm telling you guys. That's why I can tell you about no contact. That's why I can tell you about simping. I used to be a simp myself. I learned better. When I learned better, I did better, guys. That's all I'm telling y'all. That's why I say, man, emotional attachment carries a lot of weight. The no contact rule will never work to perfection if you have an, an emotional attachment. Only thing going to happen, guys, if you try that shit with emotional attachment, it's going to boil down to can you tolerate the pain longer than she here, longer than she can. Basically, y'all going to have a fucking standoff. Like stir, a stirring contest. That's all finna happen, guys. Salute to the free crowd, man. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Guys, stay ready. And until next time, peace.